India is a huge country with the world's largest population on the surface within any national boundary. Such a humongous nation needs a strong defense to protect its territory, people, and integrity. If you are eager to know what protects India from any national, international, or internal threats, then you have clicked on the right video. Let's not take time and get straight away with it. Indian security forces are mainly divided into two parts external and internal. Further, it has subdivisions according to their specialties. External forces. External security is under the Indian Armed Forces. It is divided into three major forces, the Army, Navy, and Air Force, which collectively stand as the fourth largest military force in the world. The Indian Army is the primary land-based armed force of India, responsible for protecting the country's borders and conducting military operations on land. It is the world's second largest standing army, with over 1.45 million active personnel. India's main marine force, the Indian Navy, is in charge of defending the nation's coastline and maritime interests. With more than 67,000 active members, it ranks as the sixth largest fleet in the world. The Indian Air Force is the primary force of India's air defense, responsible for protecting the country's airspace and conducting military operations in the air. It is the world's fourth largest air force, with over 168,000 active personnel. Special Units of Armed Forces The most well-known of the Indian Army's special forces is the Para-SF, or Commandos. It conducts operations in areas controlled by the enemy, counterinsurgency and anti-terrorist missions, and natural disaster rescue operations. An Indian Navy Special Forces Force is the Marine Commando Force, or MCF, or Marcos. It engages in special operations, counterterrorism, and anti-piracy. The Indian Air Force's Special Forces Unit, the Garud Commando Force, is tasked with protecting airfields during hostilities, neutralizing enemy air defense, recovering fallen pilots, and providing humanitarian help in times of crisis. Internal Forces The Central Armed Police Forces, or CAPFs, are a group of paramilitary forces that are under the control of the Ministry of Home Affairs of India. They are responsible for a variety of tasks, including internal security, border protection, and anti-terrorism operations. There are seven CAPFs. Central Reserve Police Force, or CRPF. The CRPF is the largest CAPF, with over 330,000 personnel. It is responsible for a wide range of tasks, including counterinsurgency operations, riot control, and election duty. Border Security Force, or BSF. The BSF is responsible for guarding India's land borders with Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, and Nepal. It has over 250,000 personnel. The Central Industrial Security Force, or CISF. The CISF is responsible for providing security to public sector undertakings and government installations. It has over 140,000 personnel. Assam Rifles is responsible for guarding India's border with Myanmar. It has over 65,000 personnel. ITBP is responsible for guarding India's border with China. It has over 90,000 personnel. Coast Guard is responsible for protecting India's coastline and enforcing maritime law. It has over 15,000 personnel and over 100 ships and aircraft. Special Frontier Force, or SFF. The SFF is a paramilitary force that is responsible for guarding India's border with China in the late region. It has over 8,000 personnel. Special Units There are two more paramilitary forces and a special armed forces unit that are least talked about due to certain national security reasons. We are talking about the National Security Guard NSG. Formed in 1985, the NSG is a counter-terrorism force that is responsible for responding to major terrorist attacks within the national boundary. Special Protection Group, SPG, formed in 1986, is responsible for providing close protection to the Prime Minister of India and other high-ranking government officials. That is an elite regiment of the Indian Army responsible for protecting the President of India. It is the oldest surviving mounted unit in the Indian Army and the senior most regiment. That was quite a journey through the powerhouse of India's defense, wasn't it? We hope this video has contributed some value to your time. Thanks for watching. See you soon.